Hello guys, welcome back. Another tutorial. GSI image. Another update. December big image overlap in scrolling screen shot. Redmi Note 8 Pro. One point nine GB. Wow. Okay, how go it? Go, uh, you going to install the update for the Redmi Note 8 Pro if you receive the update. Wait, wait, wait. Yes, Redmi Note 8. If you want to be safe, Uninstall your images. There is an option there. Uninstall. Remove the images manager after that. And flashback the me recovery. And then update. Oh, update manually. Button. So far, this still not update. Oh, there is also an update for the Redmi Note 7, 16.1, Android 10, Android Pie, this still. 11.06, mix. Okay, another update. This one, no need. Better on. And the GSI ROM. image on my Redmi Note 8 all spec this is the miglob.com ROM 16.1 of 2020 security patch level on the 1st of January Android 9 and the GSI that I have download uh, Pixel Experience Android 9 my advice is only use the GSI that come with the Play Store come with the Google Apps there is two way to flash the GSI image one by a uh, ADB, use the fast boot, flash through your PC, and another one, the easiest one, use your TWRP recovery. This is MIUI 11. Okay, first thing. If you want to back up your system image, make sure all your lock screen, uh, fingerprint, remove the lock screen security. Or your lock screen pattern, whatever lock screen you use, just remove it. Disable it. Okay, first boot into your recovery. Reboot, hold your plus volume. Now I'm updating my Redmi Note 8.
Oke. Okay. Backup. Select your series where you want to back it up. I'm using my micro SD. And what you want to back up? <coughs> we only want to back up the system image only 4.6 GB. Make sure your space are uh, enough to back up. And the 4.6 is only for expect partition SD card. If your SD card are formatted to FAT32, you can back up the file size that over 4 GB. Okay, now back up. The name is auto generate. And for those who want to install the YouTube plans on the unrooted device, first download the YouTube Band app and then the Micro G app 2 app and then uninstall your current YouTube and then in the Play Store disable the auto update after that install the YouTube buns uh, micro G after that reboot your phone that's all the link for the YouTube bun and micro G I will give below and also the GSI image that I'm going to install in the Redmi Note 8 also the link below the Redmi Note 7 is miglob.com also this one is Android on the queue is this a queue? no Redmi Note 8 Pro um, I'm installing my images Copy, complete uninstall Still downloading. Let's reboot. This manager app, where is it? No more magis. Wow, have to redownload again. Point zero six. You want to flashback the recovery, the stock recovery. You put to password. Uh, 
whole volume minus Okay. On that device there. Now. Put back. Wow, so long. Okay, we already back up our system to the SD card. Now we are going to flash. Let me check my Redmi Note 8 Reboot to recovery Back Whether the stock recovery are installed on the Redmi Note 8 Pro Note 8 This is the stock recovery of Redmi Note 8 Pro. Reboot to system. We are good to go to update the OTA update. So, on the Redmi Note 8, install image, the GSI image. Install what you want to install. Install image where the partition on my uh, my GSI image already copied to my SD card so system A64 A only not the AB this is the where you want to write it to the system image flash in case boot loop, you have back up your system just now. Restore it back. Okay, update. Download update. Oh, 39%. Okay, done on Redmi Note 8. We already installed the GSI image. Reboot. Whether it boot or not, I'm not sure. Good look. <laughs> This is what I call boot loop. Now, okay, so you go back to the recovery. Guess good look. Let's try it. 
to wipe the cache and dial pick wipe that part wipe dial pick and cache very good Nope, it will not put, I think. Nope, this is good loop. Okay. Okay, we restore back our system. Back to recovery. Wipe and one wipe system only. And restore system image. Whether we can use our backup system image, I'm not sure. Also, Okay, before we reboot, go back to home, wipe, add button wipe, Dalvik, cache, now reboot to system, we already restore back the backup system image. That's the procedure how you try, uh, trying to install the GSI image just in case it boot loop not rebooting if you are lucky it will boot that depend on the image and for the Redmi Note 8 Pro you can try also but I am not guaranteed For my knowledge, you have to edit some of the file inside the system image, the GSI, because of the hardware different. And for the Snapdragon and some of the GSI image, mostly uh, of them. Uh, boot on the Snapdragon SOC for the MTK. I'm not very sure. Okay, we already update the the OTA. Okay, reboot now. Let's see if we can update the phone. Oh, boot look. Come on, boot, 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 boot. Yes, that's how you update your Redmi Note 8.
Pro remove the I mean the magis see update zip is correct that means you have to use the full ROM I think corrupt hmm. okay the YouTube bun what I'm talking just now the YouTube ping it called YouTube ping come on the micro G app are not visible because it is inside the system if you look at the YouTube bun this is the way the UI If I'm trying to log into my YouTube, you see here. <coughs> the web. YouTube van setting. This is the. I think this is not the latest build. If you want to update the app update manually and inside your play store setting auto update don't auto update if you auto update the youtube will overwrite your youtube funds let's see the update Maybe we have to download the full ROM. Just now it's 1.9. Where the download folder? Download ROM. It's not download. Update uh, Redmi Note 8 Pro still downloading the update. So I already show you how to install the GSI image. So be careful always back up for the SOC Snapdragon back up your EFS partition copy it to the SD card and then from the SD card copy to your PC <coughs> for, the, for the MTK back up the NVRAM partition these partition are very important for your phone otherwise you will lose your IMEI IME number and the phone will be useless ok that's it I hope you learn something and always be careful always do a backup and that's all and thank you for watching stay tuned for the next video